So just when you think you get everything squared away with this WJ, you go and get gas and watch it pour out all over the gas station, take down the gas tank, and look at this. Looks like the previous owner hacked up the spare tire <laughs> to get to the fuel pump, I'm guessing. Uh, hacking this metal above the fuel pump, especially when it's leaking, it's a good way to blow yourself up. So uh, not cool. Uh, drop your tank like you're supposed to. Don't take shortcuts cutting up your Jeep. You're going to end up blowing yourself up. Can't believe I didn't notice that. I'm going to have to see what it looks like from up top. All right, let's take a look at this mess from above. Let's see what's going on here. I wonder why I couldn't see it, because i got a nice little cargo cover over it. But I can smell it. I can smell the fuel, especially on a windy day. Look at that. Nice Columbia Edition matching spare. Oh, I see the tape. Oh, come on. What it is. There you go. Spare out. Oh man. Look at the rust forming under there already. Oh. Come on. Huh. That's a good way to get tetanus. Duct tape. Duct tape. What the heck? Well, there you have it. The crappiest repair ever. Well, if you're still not convinced that it's not a good idea to cut your spare tire compartment in a WJ to get to your fuel tank, uh, maybe this will convince you. Look at this. I am putting a pick into my gas tank. Wow. <laughs> if you want an evap leak, that's a great way to do it. Wow. Gonna have to fix it right. What a pain in the butt. Jeep my life. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I'm out here with this new WJ. Well, this new to me WJ. This will be taking the place of the Green Hornet. Not sure what to call it yet. Only got a couple things going on with this thing right now. Uh, just posted a video that featured the window regulator. And now we're going to be working on the gas tank evap system. I'll show you what we got going on here. Check this out, guys. So I'm driving this thing to work one day, and I smell a strong vapor of gasoline. Well, come down here, look inside, and this thing is cut wide open. Looks like the previous owner made a little access port to get to the fuel pump and uh, cut into the tank pretty bad. So, you know... I made sure I dropped the tank, got under here, painted everything up, got my evap box on here from the other WJ, and taking my time, cleaning it up, and gonna put it back together the right way. Here is the gas tank skid plate that I'm going to use. Actually, I'm reusing this. This one is in really good shape. Ugh, I painted the inside last night. I will do some painting on the outside. If you can see, I ground it all down, cut out the rot. I use a nice step bit to enlarge these holes a little, get out all the other junk in there. I'm gonna scuff it up once more time because it flash rusted a bit last night, but that's gonna be the skid plate. And over here, this is the gas tank from the Green Hornet. It's still got good seals, the EVAP system I had fixed. So gas tank has got a nice seal to it. The EVAP system is going to be all good to go, so we're going to put that in. But first, I got to go fix that hole. So here we are at the hole. This sucker's pretty big. I could fit my whole hand in it just about. And arrow is facing forward, so that's wonderful. Um, I can't believe they did this. It's, it is not proper procedure to cut a hole in the floor of your Jeep to get to the fuel pump you just gotta drop that sucker and do it the right way so I was thinking about cutting this spare tire well from the other WJ and welding this close but it might be convenient to have the access hole now that it's already cut I was thinking about cleaning up these edges and making a cover 
out of the old hole. Don't want to do a tank tuck. I'm really not feeling that. I'm um, going to keep the spare tire the way it is. I'm going to be running stock tires for the time being until I lift this thing. That's going to be in a little while. But I'm just going to restore it back to stock. Um, so I'm not going to weld it closed. I'm not going to tank tuck it. I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and make an access hole. So I think I'll just trace a nice circle and recut this thing. Real quick, here's a view from the bottom. And before we cut into a metal, we want to make sure that there's no gas tank accessories coming down that may have fuel or fuel vapor in them. I just replaced this fuel filter right up there. So that's good to go. Cleaned up and painted all around it. So I'm just going to move these out of the way so there's no vapors in my working space. We're nice and clear. Good to go. Not like... Uh, not like the previous owner that cut into the fuel tank. My word, glad he didn't blow himself up. So let us trace a nice access hole. These cut marks won't do for me. So I'm gonna make a nice round hole here with my step bit. And I'll do the same probably right over here. It's gonna be easier to cut on that flat part of this curve. So we're gonna do one of these right around here make a nice step bit here so I will get rid of all those jagged cuts do another one here another one up here and that's gonna be the basic shape of our new hole <laughs> almost looks like the Chrysler logo funny also going to want to leave room to overlap in this area. This is where I'm going to put some weather seal down. And this outer circle is probably what I'll end up cutting out on the other wheel well. So I got some masking paper and kind of lined it up around this corner with little uh, radius lines to line up with this little concave part of the tube to get myself a reference point. And I just traced, you know, the hole where it's going to be and I gave myself a nice thick edge and I'm going to go take a piece of Green Hornet. All right, let's see how we did. Hey, not bad at all. Wow, that's gonna be easier than I thought. I'm just gonna grind down these uh, these chunks right here, that seam sealer. This way uh, we get a nice flush fit right over here and there. Looks like the previous owner didn't even vacuum out the metal shavings when they cut the original hole. And now we got chunks of metal shavings forming a nice rust clump. Very nice, previous owner. Very nice. There we go, guys. That's a good looking spare tire home. <laughs> nice. And now my plan is to use quarter 20 nut certs. I got a quarter 20 little hex head bolt right here and to get these to fit we're gonna need a 
three eighths diameter drill bit. Not too shabby for my little access hole lid. Ah, I can see a little daylight. Looks like I kind of missed. All right, grab my gasket maker. I use just about a whole tube of this stuff. Always keep an extra tube on file in case I need it in a pinch. And this is my pinch. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys so you can keep some of this on stock too. I gotta order more myself. But anyway, smooth out a nice thick layer of this stuff and I'll just splotch on my cover. It'll seal really good. I'll zip it with self-tappers. All right, here we go. Primary goal to create a seal. I'm not welding it closed, so I'll still have access, which is great, but seal is primary and access is secondary, and I think I'll be able to achieve both. All right, I'm gonna put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 self-tappers, maybe 11, I can't count. So uh, here we go, let's do it. I'll make an access hole here with a threaded nut just in case I wanna utilize a hole. <laughs> you never know when you need to utilize a hole. Tidy up a little bit. And what the heck, hit it with some more paint. Oh, that looks better already. Excellent, look at that. Everything lines up, no more gaps. Let's see if we see daylight this time. Oh, nothing shining through there. That's a win. All right, I just gotta cut off all these little nubs from the self-tappers. No rust in this house, baby. There we go. Nice and sealed. Don't cut into your floor without the fuel tank already down. You could cut into the tank, the sparks could ignite vapors with evap. God knows how rotten these pipes are. Oh, let me show you. Right here, guys. Look at how rotten the ends of these evap lines were. All of them, they're all split badly. So I had a lot of fuel vapors. You don't want to start sending sparks out <laughs> right where these things are leaking. That's not a good idea. Look at that. Even the ones that look okay still have splits in them. Look at that. Rotten everywhere. So I cut off the ends and then mated them up with a little barb tool. And uh, good to go now. But yeah, don't blow yourself up. All right, I'm going to let all this paint dry. I got my tank drying over there I painted that off camera my uh, my gas tank skid plate I got my well I got two over there that one's for sale um, I'm gonna do the fuel tank job um, I guess tomorrow I'll put it all in and uh, I'll let you know how it holds up I'm guessing zero zero evap leaks uh, this thing is uh, all done all the fuel system is taken care of. And if you're interested, the fuel filter is CarQuest part number 86750 and it ran me 3877. All right guys, that's going to do it for this little uh I don't even know what you call it, little access hatch seal up fix kind of repair but still make it functional kind of video. <laughs> yeah. Uh that was actually easier and I thought it was going to be. I probably overcomplicated it with those stupid riv nuts. I mean, those are great, but not pretty uh, good for this application. 
and uh, a little bit of RTV. Simple goop and screws did the trick. That's a, that's a win right there. That will last and uh, when I ever need to, or hopefully I won't anytime soon, but if I ever have to replace the fuel pump on this bad boy, I just go ahead and peel off the RTV and that's it. Good to go. So I like that. Please guys, don't cut into your Jeeps. Just drop the tank to put a fuel tank, uh, fuel pump in. And while you're doing that job the right way, then you can make an access hole. Don't put an angle grinder in there. The tank is only this far away. Cut into the tank, you're gonna do some harm. Hopefully you won't blow yourself up. Hopefully this guy didn't blow himself up. Don't blow yourself up. It's just not worth it. It's a Jeep, they're great, but your life is more important. So write that down. Um, all right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, remember to like it, subscribe to me, share this video, uh, check me out on Instagram. You can follow along with all the stuff I do that uh, I don't have time to make videos for, unfortunately. But that's it, guys. I'm gonna do it. So, like, subscribe, and peace. Oh, yeah. And I'll catch you on the next part. Peace. Yeah, that hurts. Pitch. Don't be weird. Dark cat. Hey, Dad. <sighs> don't be weird. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Marilyn here. And today, we're working on the Jeep. And this is what he's working on so far. Looks good. Look. Hey, Ed. <laughs> you snorty McSnortster. <laughs> Are you really recording, Bear? Look. <laughs> good job. Hi, Dada. Welcome to the project. Oh, yeah. Get it. Watch your knees. I don't want this falling on you. Look at that. Someone cut a hole right there. <laughs>